This is the demonstration of an alarm clock project using a four digit seven segment display. It consists of a four digit seven segment display, a big 16F876 microcontroller, and two switches. When the program when it's run, the default display is 1259. Then the first switch is to change. This is the hour. The 12 is the hour, 59 is the minute. To change to second, minute second, you press the first switch. Once the first switch is pressed, the minute shows here, then the second shows here. So every second, the second display will keep on incrementing as shown. If you want to return back to the hour minute display, you click the first uh, the first switch again, then the hour minute display shows. And when you click the first switch, the minute second display shows. Then to set, to change the time, we need the second switch. So the second switch has six modes. So to change the time, we'll press the second switch. The A represents the hour. So if I want to increment, change the time to uh, 13, the hour to 13. So the alarm clock, this alarm clock works on a 24 hour format. I, I put it in the A mode, then I use the first switch to, uh, to change it, to increment it. If I want to increment it again, I use the first switch to increment it. Then if I want to go to the B mode to change the minutes, I click on the second switch again. Then I increment using the first switch so to change it to the B mode. So when I go back to the display, uh, this was the time the hour it was changed to, and this was the minute it was changed to. So that's for the A mode and the B mode. Then the C mode is to turn on the alarm for the hour. So the C mode is the hour alarm. So when it's on, when the clock switches to another hour, the alarm clock will begin to ring. So if it's on, and any time the clock moves from um, moves to one hour, like one hour, two hours, uh, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., the alarm clock will ring. Then this, the D mode is to set the clock alarm. So if I want to set the hour uh, at which the alarm should ring, I put it on the D mode, then I use the first switch to increment the hour. So let me set it to 13. Let me set the alarm clock to 13. So the hour is set to 13. And when I want to set the minute, let me set the minute to um, 5. Then the oh, F mode is to turn on the alarm clock then uh, the time currently is 15.05 so let me change the alarm to 15.06 so that when it's 15.06 the alarm clock will ring so I go to the um, to the dim board then I put it on 15 Six, and I turn it on. So when it's 15.06, it's now currently 15.05. When it's 15.06, the alarm clock. Okay, so this is the second. It keeps incrementing.
when it gets to 15.06. Fifteen o six, the alarm clock is. So it's supposed to ring for ten seconds after which it stops. Let me change the alarm again to fifteen o seven, and let me turn it on again. So when it's 15 or 7, the alarm clock will ring. So this is the minute, and this is the second. I will just wait till it's 15 or 7. Then you will hear the buzzer sounding, showing that you are now at 15 or 7. So it has a buzzer. So here is the buzzer here. Since I've set the alarm to 15.07, when it's 15.07, the alarm clock will ring. Just waiting. After 10 seconds, the, alarms, the alarm stops. Then let me set, let us test the hour alarm. So for me to test the hour alarm, I have to change this to 59 because of the simulation so that when it gets to 1600 hours, the hour alarm will ring. So I will change the and so change it to So I turn it to 58 to speed up things. Then let me turn on the hour alarm. The time is currently 15.58. So when it gets to 600 hours, the alarm clock would ring, indicating that your hour, the time is 4 p.m. So we're going to at 15.59. Fifteen, fifteen, so to go to the minute second display, I click on the first switch. And while we wait for it, the, the alarm clock uses an interrupt. So this is the, the, 
The interrupt pin is connected to channel L of the oscilloscope. And you can see that it's set to two milliseconds. So each clock cycle is four milliseconds. Then in order to get one second, four milliseconds, okay, we are ready for four clock. Then this is the buzzer. Channel C is connected to the buzzer. 